Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Batman issue 6. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 161, and that's show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. So if you want to go check out the exclusive comics, that's all in the description below. And guys, sorry for the different background this week. Uh, next week I'll be back to my regular poster wall background. But let's start talking about Batman issue 6, which has become one of my favorite DC Rebirth books. And this is the epilogue of I Am Gotham. And from what we learned, we all thought it was going to be Gotham. Um, but it's actually Gotham Girl who is this main character. And here we see her psychological troubles uh, in this issue. First, uh, talking about the art. For, I love the cover. I love David Finch's artwork on this book. And actually, I think it's Ivan Reyes who does this art, though, which has such a David Finch look to it. Uh, it I love how Ivan Reyes kind of has his own style here, but it really doesn't take away from what David Finch has brought to this world and this run from Tom King, uh, even though I guess he couldn't do this issue just for um, schedule-wise. So I really like the art style. Um, because again, it's a, it's a twist of Ivan, Re Ivan Reyes' regular style, but also very David Finch, and I think it worked really well. Uh, but let's start talking about the issue itself, the story. Uh, so the story in this issue, uh, we have very much centered around Gotham Girl and her psychological state after losing her family, all her family at once, which obviously Bruce knows a lot about, and also um, <clears throat> being controlled by... Psycho pirate. He, she definitely has not gone over that. But she still wants to be a hero. She still wants to be this hero for Gotham. And uh, throughout the issue, she talks to her brother. And uh, she's like, oh, remember when we were kids? We did this. And it's heartbreaking. The whole issue is heartbreaking. And then you have Bruce who understands this pain because obviously he's gone through it. But at the same time, he he's kind of <laughs> in a, a similar way in that psychological state also. Just shows it differently. Uh, so Bruce can very much relate to Gotham Girl. Uh, so we have Bruce reveal himself to her and say, don't worry, I'm here. Um, and he, d he opens up to her, which is a very rare moment, is Bruce Wayne opening up uh, and talking about feelings. Uh, now, I think the only part of the issue that really threw me off was the tie-in to the next arc, which is the Night of the Monster Men, where they're just like, hey, you know, you've been following this Gotham Girl story, I know, but let's bring in Amanda Waller, who I still love that looks like Viola Davis in this book. I like that they kind of transitioned the, the movie version into the comic. Um, but anyways, uh, it's, it's Amanda Waller saying, hey, yeah, I know you're dealing with Gotham Girl, but you got Bane. <laughs> you have this new story you have to deal with. You're in? And he's like, yeah, I'm in. Uh, and that brings us to the next arc, which is the tie-in, I think, with Detective Comics. It looks like Nightwing's tying, in, tying into it, so it's a couple of the Bat books. So, um, I thought it was a perfect issue up to that point. So it's kind of hard to rate it because it's only one page. It's more of, like, what's to come that I don't really like. But at the same time, it is that weird, out-of-place page. So uh, I am going to look overlook the page, just because it is one page, and it's an epilogue, we'll call it. Uh, but I loved the overall story so much that I have to give this five stars. It was just so amazing. It gets you in the emotion, um, or it gets you in the gut because of the emotion. Uh, you see Gotham Girl shaving her head. The, the, the dialogue in this book is just so perfect to highlight what's going on in Gotham Girl's brain right now, what's going on psychologically. And I love that Tom King has made this a psychological book. And that's why I felt like it was so important that Bruce opened up in the end. Um, he took off his mask, which again, is just such a rare thing to see. Uh, and I, I just can't wait to see Gotham Girl develop as a character even more because she's so intriguing. And uh, it's a shame that they're not going to have her for the next couple issues because they have to do this weird crossover. Uh, so that's one thing I am upset about. But this was such a good book. Again, just I read that dialogue over and over again just because how it flowed so well. And, and again, it got you in the gut with the, the emotion her talking to Hank, but Hank's not there. Uh, so it was a really well done issue really well done epilogue um and it just makes me even more intrigued to see more of gotham girl that i hope dc has more plans for i'm sure after this uh this coming arc we'll see more of her but uh 
yeah, I thought it was a perfect issue up to that last page point. But I am going to give it five stars, and it was 100% my pick of the week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.